All right, I'm going to show you guys how to create an actual drawing now. Um, we're going to be creating four parts to a picture frame. Um, these are the parts here. Um, the picture frame, I will include this PDF file so you can reference it. Um, the picture frame is made out of four parts. This is a project that my woodworking class has created uh, in reality using wood. <laughs> we're going to do it virtually. Um, and uh, basically I need you to be able to create all four parts using Google SketchUp. And we're gonna make groups out of all four parts and we are going to uh, save this and then upload it to the class. Um, in the end, it'll look something like this, uh, minus the dimensions and notes and things. But basically we're gonna look, we're looking to create four parts that will create a picture frame these picture frames use four different methods for joinery on the corners. Um, the first is a regular miter joint. Um, in the wood shop, we have reinforced that with a spline. Then we have a standard lap joint, then a mitered lap joint, and finally, just a simple butt joint, but reinforced with a biscuit. We use a biscuit jointer to create that one. So sort of an exploded view of the uh, whole thing is uh, these four individual parts. Now for our purposes, we're gonna ignore the dotted line which represents the rebate that or rabbit that's at the back of the picture frame. Um, that would be added once it's assembled using a router and then using a chisel to clean up the four corners. But for our purposes, we're just gonna create the parts minus this little one line rabbit that goes along the whole back, okay? So in SketchUp, we're going to create a new file and we're gonna zoom in near this person's foot because this picture frame is actually relatively small. And we're gonna start with part A which is 11 inches by two and a quarter inches. So we will start with a rectangle that is 11 inches by two space one quarter inches and hit enter. And um, it doesn't say so on the plans, but we are going to make this three quarters of an inch thick. So we will use the push pull tool and we will push pull up three quarters of an inch. Now you'll notice when I clicked there, it registered as a double click. I was a little sloppy with the mouse. If this happens to you, don't try to pull it up by three quarters because it'll end up being a little bit longer, or a little bit thicker than that. Just uh, undo by control Z and then click pull up and then type in your distance. Uh, to get your thickness. All right, now at this point, we have a block of wood essentially that represents our blank for part A. This would be the result of our dressing of our lumber. We've uh, taken it to the joiner and planer and table saw, miter saw, and we've got now a piece of wood that's dimensionally correct. We've got it's 11 inches long by three quarter inch thick by uh, two and a quarter inch wide and now we need to do things to it like add in on the right hand side a 45 degree miter and on the left hand side a half lap joint or a lap joint um, and so what we're going to do is we'll use our protractor on the one end this is going to be my zero and I'm going to pull it in and type in 45 degrees and then I will draw my line. Okay. On this end, we have a half lap. Um, but if you notice, it's in dotted lines here. This represents the fact that that's on the underside of this part. So I'm going to have to rotate down below it, use my orbit tool or my middle mouse button to orbit down below it. And I'm going to draw in a line that's two and a quarter inches wide. And there it is there, okay? And now I can finish up this part by push pulling. So 
let's start on the top again we're going to push pull this is cut right off this is like if you took it to the miter saw and cut a 45 degree angle and we're going to push pull all the way down to the bottom this one though is only halfway through the wood now uh, to know what the halfway point is we take three quarters we find out what half of that is it's a spoiler alert three eighths so we're going to type in three eighths and then there is our lap joint and this is part a complete <clears throat> so we can make it a group now we're going to select it and we're going to right click and we're going to say make group okay now uh, we can go ahead and start part b which is nine by two and a quarter so again we're going to use our rectangle tool we're going to start here pull it up to the top right we're going to type nine inches comma two space one over four inches two and a quarter inches hit enter um, we're going to push pull that up Whoop. I did it again I double clicked by accident so we're going to undo we're going to just pull up and then we're going to type in three quarters of an inch um, don't get this miter line that we created before confused so we can erase that we're going to use our protractor to do another miter on this end um, remember this is the mating part to B so A and B touch at this miter line so they're both 45s push pull this one all the way through um, and now we end up with um, similar to this side where we did a miter joint uh, miter joint a lap joint this is a mitered lap joint in other words instead of it being a rectangle it's going to be a 45 like this so we're going to push pull upwards from the bottom but only a 45 and only halfway so we need to go to the underside we need to use our protractor tool this is going to be our zero we're going to come in 45 degrees we're going to draw our line to there and then we're going to push pull up half of the distance or three eighths of an inch and there is our miter lap joint all right and i'm going to erase the construction lines and then make this a group so highlight or select the whole thing using the selection tool right clicking and say make group so there's point, uh, part a and part b i'm not going to do part uh, c and d you can reference the drawings that i've given you um, one thing that I will mention is that the biscuit joint, this half circle here, bonus marks if you can figure that one out, but you don't need to put it in. It's very difficult to do. Um, it's, uh, I'll give you a hint. You need to do your push-pull in three different um, parts if you're going to do that biscuit joint. But for now, we'll just leave it out. Um, I can show you how to do that in a future video. All right, so have fun with SketchUp. And when you've got something done, you can upload it to the course.